Welcome to the Sabian booth at NAM 2018. And I've only got the boss himself. Yeah. So this is Andy Sabian. We, we say that. Oh, it's fine with we, me. We, we'll go with that this fine year. Fine with me, We'll introduce you with your second name. Yeah. Uh, so what's new? Let's, let's talk, okay. talk us through what, what we got. The most exciting thing that we got that's new is what's called the FRX. Um, for years, engineers, people who are playing in smaller venues, um, people who are playing uh, with singers, with, with choirs, people who are playing with other microphones, even their own microphones that are right near the cymbals, they have to be EQ'd, they have to be changed, they have to try to take some of the tone out so that it doesn't overdo, it doesn't overtax the sound that's coming in to the, uh, to the microphones. They've been complaining about that, and what can it do, what's the solution? Mark, Mark Love, our guru, he was trying to figure it out, and he came upon a design that he said, I think this is gonna work, and what this does, what these little things here in the ride and the ones right around the cup in the crashes, what they do is they take not the volume down really, although the volume is, is seems to be down, it takes the frequencies and controls them, brings them in a little more. So it cleans the highs and lows out so that the microphones that are next to the drummer, so that the bass player, the singer, everybody else, the choir, whatever is right next to them, is not nearly as affected by the drummer as the, and the sound of the cymbals as it used to be. So, for example, in a small club, you'd have to have that stupid plexiglass thing around you, which is infuriating, really. So you're stuck there. Every time you play, it's muted. The sound of the drums can't come out right. It's really frustrating because you're stuck in that cage. With these cymbals, dump the cage and you don't have to hold back when you're playing. You don't have to think, oh, I'm gonna hit the crash, but I don't wanna hit it too hard, because I don't wanna make it. Go ahead, man, be free, free to go ahead. Just don't hold back, hit the cymbal. It's going to sound, it's gonna project, it's gonna do everything you want, but it's not going to interfere in, in the microphones. It's not gonna interfere in the engineer's ears. It's not gonna interfere to any other mics on the kit, and it's not gonna bother the, the bass player. The singer, on the other hand, we know what they're like. <laughs> so even if you're there, it's bothering them. So you don't even have to be playing. <laughs> this, this not only looks cool, but it's almost like symbol EQ. It's exactly, yeah. It's, what is, and it's bringing, it's bringing the highs, it's trimming them down a little bit, and the lows trimming them up a little bit to clean up that sound. And those are the things. That's, that's what we found are the, the parts of the symbol projection that are, that are bothering people, really, when you're playing. And so you get rid of those. Go ahead and play. Play to your heart's content. Don't hold back. Let it go. So this, and, this is a ride, what else have we got? A ride? Is it a whole range? Yeah, we've got 22, 20 rides. We've got 16, 17, 18 crash. And we've got uh, 14 hi-hats in the FRX. Yeah, yeah. Now these, these FRX um, are the closest that we have to those are the HHX. And so what we did is we put them next to each other so that you could hear them. Unfortunately, I don't have a stick in my hand, so you can't hear it. But, but the idea is you can hear what this would sound like pretty much without the FRX treatment done to it, and then listen to the FRX symbol and hear how much it makes it sound much cleaner, easier to listen to, and, and less intrusive, but just as freeing as a regular symbol. Feels like a regular symbol, works like a regular symbol because it is, but just mitigates some of those high ends, some of those frequencies that go too far. And looking at obviously different sizes, you've got more rows of holes absolutely per, so it's literally per symbol is is being treated and eq'd separately so well it, they I work would, as a whole not not each symbol individually but each symbol size size yes yeah yep definitely because so. i mean look at this look what the hi-hats you only have one row that are going there and what that does it isolates that bell out and so it it takes those tones that are coming out of it and mitigates and that's all you have to do with the hi-hat to do that and with the crashes you only have to come around the bell to do that Whereas with the rides, because there's so much more of the body that's playing, you need to have it around the bell to isolate that and then to just take that touch off the outer, uh, the outer edge of the cymbal. And everybody who's played them has been very excited about the way that they, like, they just don't have to stop playing. They can go ahead and lay into it and, and it works beautifully in any lower volume um, situation. They're great, I love these things. I think they're kind of revolutionary. Man. I'm excited okay. about them. Well, this is good. You, yeah. Obviously, having you passionate about your products, oh, yeah. that means all your artists and everyone, so it's great. So we'll cut in some playing. This is the NAM booth. 
That is Sabian beef at Nam, and yeah. it's always it's always big. Come on, you always go big. So. Yeah, isn't that nice? <laughs> just one of your range. So. It started off as as just some of our innovation. Then we thought, you know, it just looks good. Let's just keep doing it. Nice. It's always cool. So check out these. We, we'll have them, and as soon as we get our stock, we'll tell you. But we'll play these ones. And uh, yeah. thank you very much. Absolutely. Thanks, man. <laughs>